Recently, I have noticed an excessive amount of hype surrounding artificial intelligence and ChatGPT specifically. People are competing to proclaim how amazing this neural network is and how much it streamlines video production. This prompted me to investigate whether ChatGPT is truly as impressive as it is made out to be or if it's simply overrated. So in this video, I'll show you how ChatGPT can help you in creating YouTube videos. Let's go. I think it would be very appropriate to explain how ChatGPT works first. ChatGPT is capable of generating text on a wide range of subjects and answering questions. It relies on deep learning and neural networks, enabling it to process extensive amounts of text, comprehend its significance, and formulate responses. I hope this clears things up. How can ChatGPT assist you in producing YouTube videos? Let's pose the question directly to ChatGPT. Upon inputting a brief input query, we receive a list of suggestions. These include generating brainstorming ideas, scripting, video editing, SEO optimization, and audience engagement. Something tells me that the list is incomplete. I advise you to always regenerate the response, as the results are often better the second time around. In our case, we got a couple of extra points. Research, generating titles and descriptions, Okay, now we know what it can do. Shall we give it a try? Let's ask ChatGPT to generate 10 ideas for video editing. All right, it's done generating. Let's go through them in order. An introduction to video editing. Too basic and boring. Color grading techniques, already done that. Sound design, too broad. Advanced editing techniques, better but not perfect. Editing for social media, now that's more intriguing. Within the description, we see tutorials, optimizing dimensions, aspect ratio, video length. I was hoping for more diverse suggestions. Okay, moving on. Tips for faster editing. Okay, now we're talking. Nevertheless, let's continue reading. Editing for YouTube sounds promising. How about editing for various genres? It comes across more like a video lecture on the history of cinema rather than practical advice. Collaborative editing. I'm a bit skeptical of this concept. However, the troubleshooting common editing issues is a noteworthy suggestion that's worth remembering for the future. I think that the tips for faster editing will be our best bet. Now let's ask ChatGPT to generate a short plan. As you see, the program automatically divides everything into chapters and for each section offers key ideas. According to such a plan, it is already possible to write a script. ChatGPT suggests eight segments in total, six of which are direct tips. So what did it suggest? Well, organizing files is a basic but useful tip, using keyboard shortcuts is also simple but practical. Creating templates is a good tip that we've actually covered in one of our previous videos. Working with proxies is another basic tip that many people overlook. Using auto tools is an excellent suggestion as it can make the editing process faster and more efficient. Hardware and software optimization might seem like a strange suggestion, but it can be valuable if presented properly. Overall, these tips are specifically useful for beginners despite being really basic. But this plan still doesn't feel like a script yet and ChatGPT promised to write a script. I asked ChatGPT to help us write a script for this plan and I'd like it to have a chatty and friendly tone. It's important to specify these details upfront to avoid having to regenerate everything and exceed the hourly request limit. So let's see what script ChatGPT came up with. Okay, look, ChatGPT even suggested how to film and edit the video. In the introduction, it suggests showing the editing program. However, I think it would be more appropriate to include B-rolls with the editing program towards the end of the introduction. Nonetheless, I appreciate the effort. For the second block, it suggests shooting messy files in a folder, which is a great idea, by the way. In fact, I would have suggested something similar. For all the segments, we get text and suggestions for editing and filming. Well, you may be wondering why this script is so brief. The reason is that ChatGPT is unable to handle very large texts. So even the most extensive request will be condensed to fit within the permitted size. As a result, the blocks in our script are brief. However, this isn't an issue since we can always request more information. By doing so, for each tip, we can expand the script to an acceptable length. The beauty of using ChatGPT to generate scripts is that it can provide results endlessly, so we can always find something suitable for our needs. Well, we have the script, we shot the videos, but what about the promised help in editing? It seems that the program allows you to upload files 
else to it as a corresponding plus sign appears. But can it actually do the editing? Let's check. I will type in a prompt asking to edit a video for me. Unfortunately, as expected, the program is not able to perform editing tasks. What a bummer. But just because ChatGPT can do video editing doesn't mean there aren't any AI programs that can. There are some that promise easy video editing in just a few minutes, just input the text and click a button. However, I can speak from my personal experience that these programs don't work very well. While they may technically work, they won't be able to understand exactly what you want to show in each moment of the video. Instead, they will just try to mix together pieces of stock footage that's somewhat relevant to the text. Artificial intelligence may be able to assist with video editing ideas, but it can't guarantee the same level of creative control and attention to detail that a human editor can provide. While AI can generate cool videos, it may lack the ability to create the specific animations and text effects you need. Ultimately, the resulting video may lack a cohesive concept or message resembling more of a compilation of stock footage with music. Perhaps you've seen these types of edits that are automatically generated by your iPhone based on your photo memories. That's the maximum of what the AI now can do. Unfortunately, the magic button, edit a cool video for me, doesn't exist yet. Video editing should always be done by a human, but it doesn't have to be complicated. For example, with Movavi Unlimited, even a beginner can edit a cool video in minutes. It's an accessible and easy to use platform that offers a variety of video editing tools. But that's not all. Movavi Video Editor is a part of the larger Movavi Unlimited package, which includes all of the Movavi's best applications. Video editor, photo editor, screen recorder, file converter, and more. For one low price, you get access to nine applications and a year of unlimited access to the effects store. And now, awaken new creative urges. Let the sun shine in and brighten your days with countless flavorful effects at our spring sale. Get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up. An increased 85% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 85% off. So don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. And check out other special deals on the Movavi Spring Sale. Now, I recall that ChatGPT promised to assist with audience engagement. Let's put it to the test. We'll pose a question and receive a list of suggestions. We already know that using overlays and graphics is good advice. Adding music is also an excellent suggestion. Editing by beats is generally effective. By the way, the Movavi Video Editor has a smart beat detection feature that makes dynamic editing super easy. Adding transitions is also a good idea. In Movavi Video Editor, you can choose from dozens of transition effects by default. And from our videos, you can learn how to create your own. Go ahead and try it. While color correction may be questionable, let's leave it. Using different shooting angles can work, but preparation is required. Sound effects are effective, but planning is also crucial. Working with pacing is also good advice. I have no issues with the suggestions. They are simple, but still effective. Well, we figured out the editing. You can do it without a human touch, but what about ChatGPT's promise to help with titles? Let's see how it fares. I will quickly input the prompt and receive a list of 20 potential titles. The first one has potential and the sixth isn't bad either. I will ask ChatGPT to combine them into one and boom, here's the result. It's quite catchy and should be a good fit. The next step is to write video description. It turned out to be quite ordinary, but still interesting. Let's leave it that way. I personally would have added more keywords and made the description a bit shorter, but that's just me. As for tags, ChatGPT promised to do SEO optimization. Can it suggest good tags? Upon a request, we get 20 tags. After a quick study, I can safely say that half of them are irrelevant. As a language model, ChatGPT cannot perform a thorough analysis of YouTube search queries to determine the most effective tags. It simply suggests combinations of words that may be relevant to the topic. However, some of these tags can be used and with sufficient training, ChatGPT can improve its ability to suggest relevant tags. And finally, thank ChatGPT for helping you. We don't want ChatGPT to become Skynet like an 
Terminator movies, do we? Well, I must say, the results are pretty good, especially if you know how to write the right queries. The program is not perfect and it cannot replace a person, but it can assist with everything related to working with text. However, when it comes to video editing, it's best to leave it to a person and mobile video editor. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.